Hello, Anselm Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB. Today we're looking at image processing and edge detection. MATLAB has a number of inbuilt functions uh, for Pruitt and Soba for edge detection, amongst others, but it does not have one for the SHAR operator. The SHAR operator is an improved method of the Sobel um, kernel. And it's up to just where I am with the mouse there, 10 times more accurate than so, but for the direction. Just one or two things here. There we have an image. The X direction is the vertical and the Y direction is horizontal. So the GGY is edges in the horizontal and the GGX is edges in the vertical. There's the combined there. Get that, the overall, but the square root of the edges in the X direction squared plus the edges in the y direction squared, and there we have an index of the edges that we found. There's the shower kernel in the x, there's the shower kernel in the y. Remember we have this sort of weighted here, if you add up 3, 10 and 3, you get 16. The same here, 3, 10 and 3, um, 16. Ignore the minuses, that gives you the 1 over 32. We read in cameraman.tf, a TIFF file, which is in grayscale. We don't need the line here to convert it from color to grayscale, sorry, from color to grayscale, but I left it in there because some people might be using a color image. We have to convert the image that we read into a double. Remember it'd be U in date. And the reason we have to convert the double is we want to perform mathematical operations. If we left it as U in date, you would only get zero or whole numbers. I was going to say zero once, but you would only get whole numbers, but we're going to end up with fractions and decimal points, so we have to convert to double. There's my shower mask as above. Um, and we use the con v2 uh, convolution in x and y direction. And we're using the same option there, and I've explained what the same is there from the comments. There's my IMG1X are my uh, edges in the vertical, IMGY are my edges in the horizontal, and then where the mouse is there, that's how I get the combined edges in both horizontal and vertical direction. IM2 will display the image and the square brackets will display it in a 0 to 255 scale, so that's the maximum. So there's the original image of the cameraman. Here I've got it in the X direction using a 0 to 255 scale. And remember, X is in the vertical. So picking them up as best we can. Uh, there we have it in the Y. You can see in the background there, you can just about make out the tower. Up again a little bit. Uh, the gradient isn't that big there because the sky and the tower itself are both sort of grey-ish, so the edge isn't that sharp. We can just see it there when we use the X, which is the vertical, and we're using edges in the Y, we can't see it, all. and then we can see the other Ys there. This guy here will show us the combined results of in the X and Y direction. And there we can see, just as an example, the tower comes back into range. And that's it. Hope that helps a little and thanks very much.